Now these these types of comments used to bug me. Uh, they because this particular one is very condescending, but it really exposes the ignorance uh, of what a lot of people have when it comes to alcohol use disorder or understanding alcoholism as a mental health disease. Uh, and that's okay. That means you haven't had the experience, and I'm glad you haven't had the experience. But to make comments that you know nothing of uh, isn't helping anybody uh, on this thread uh, and, and being condescending to others and to, you know, really uh, exp it exposes yourself, your, your own ignorance. Uh, alcoholism has been classified as a mental health disease by the American Medical Association since 1956. And what that's done, that's allowed for insurance companies to come in and really help with all the tools uh, of recovery, things like uh, you know, detox, rehabilitation, inpatient rehabilitation, one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling, uh, outpatient rehab, uh, uh, then the drugs that are included, like naltrexing, the drugs that help people come down and to you know, stop the cravings. There's been a lot of success with that. So you know, being condescending to someone who's struggling with the disease uh, really exposes oneself to a lot of uh, just really immature behavior. And it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help society. It doesn't help the alcoholic. And it doesn't help the family of the alcoholic. And unfortunately, a lot of families need to learn this, that it is a disease, because they get so wrapped up in the, um, the reactionary emotions when, they, when they're dealing with an alcoholic in the family. Uh, and pointing fingers at people uh, and you know, playing the blame game is a lack of education and an understanding of what's really going on with someone, with someone who's suffering from alcohol use disorder. Because in reality, almost every one of us could get caught in the web of alcoholism. You could, it could be a hereditary issue, it could be a cultural issue, it could be trauma that you've had in your life. Uh, I mean, are you going to sit there and uh, point your finger, your condescending finger, at a uh, maybe somebody who was in a war like uh, Afghanistan or Iraq and they've had PTSD and they're struggling with alcoholism? So is that the attitude you're going to have towards people like that? So before you make comments like this, it's probably a good idea to uh, think about what you're saying and who you're saying it to. Uh, on that note, maybe you should you should probably keep uh, you know sp spinning the thread and maybe look at dance videos or uh, prank videos or car chases. That's probably more your speed. But again, thanks for listening.